We're following the case of 25-year-old Shanquilla Robinson, who died while on a trip to Mexico with friends last month. Her parents say her friends told them she died from alcohol poisoning. But an autopsy report is painting a completely different picture. Robinson's mother joined the stream earlier today. Here's a bit of what she said. I didn't believe any um, stories. So after um, we received the autopsy on Thursday evening, and the autopsy told us what had actually happened to her. And so that took it to a whole nother level because, um, you know, you, they're saying that it was alcohol, and alcohol was not the cause of her death. CBS News national correspondent Jerika Duncan is closely following this story and joins me in Studio 57 now with more. Um, mm -hmm. Jerika, this is so disturbing on so many levels, mm -hmm. so many open questions at this point. First of all, what do we know about what happened to Shanquilla Robinson on this trip to Mexico? We know that she went on a trip with friends and she didn't come home, for starters. Uh, there is a video out there, um, which we have not verified, but her mother said she watched it. She believes it's her daughter. And in the video, she is being beaten up by these alleged friends. Um, she's naked. There's someone filming the, this incident and saying, at least fight for yourself. This is allegedly the best friend uh, that her mother said she believes was there. It's a horrifying story. Um, a number of people actually reached out to me and said, hey, why not do something on this woman? And I hadn't heard of it, to be completely honest with you, Elaine. And the more digging that I did, it was uh, obvious that this did rise to a national level. Um, you don't assume that when your daughter goes off on vacation with her friends uh, that they're going to end up dead. As to what exactly happened, those details still have yet to be sorted out. Uh, we know that the autopsy report said that uh, she appeared to have died from a fractured, fractured neck or broken neck, fractured vertebrae. Um, initially, her mother told me that the friends who were there came to the house to give their condolences, uh, said that they believed her daughter died from alcohol poisoning. Um, but it was two days after that that the mother got the autopsy report and realized there was no mention of alcohol poisoning. So I just want to make sure I understand, did the family know the friends that she was on this trip with? Correct. And some of them came to the home after they returned from Cabo, Mexico. Um, I also want to acknowledge that the mother told me they started receiving tips and clips of video of this fight that happened mm -hmm. where their daughter is a appearing to be defenseless, but defenseless, not fighting back. Um, and they went to the Charlotte police. Well, the Charlotte police then took it to the FBI. The FBI has put out a statement there in Charlotte. They said the video was referred to the FBI, and we encourage anyone with related photos or video to contact the FBI. So they're involved. The State Department has released a comment uh, on this because of where it happened in Mexico. Uh, and the Mexican authorities are also investigating this uh, as, as a suspicious death. Uh, so that's where we are in terms of the investigation. Her mother also tells me that they're now planning a funeral as we sit here. Uh, she's preparing to bury her daughter, 25 years old, uh, tomorrow on Saturday, mm. uh, and then a week of protest potentially. Why? Because they want someone to be held accountable. There's video, there are people in this video, and no one has been arrested. I mean, I can't even begin to imagine what this mother is going through. How is she navigating all of this? She said through prayer, um, and I, I can only imagine what that must be like, and, and the, the shock of it all. Absolutely. Uh, and the fact that the mom watched this video, I don't even want to look at the video. No. It's too much. I read what this, this video shows. I've seen still sh uh, photos, but it's circulating on the internet. I mean, that's another conversation. How something like this, a woman getting beaten to the point uh, where, again, she doesn't return home, is, is just being constantly shared. It's disgusting. Well, it is so disturbing. So many more answers yet to come on this, Jerika Duncan. I know you'll continue to cover this. Thanks so much, Jerika. Thank you.